All right. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Trade Out Loud Trading Room. My name is Anka Metcalf, and welcome to a brand new trading day. Can I please have a quick sound check and let me know where you guys are from? Never got a chance to ask you guys this. All right. That's cool. Oh, my goodness. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All righty. Okay. I am in Detroit, Michigan at this time. Okay, awesome. Wow, all over the world. Italy, Portland, UK, Mexico, Venezuela, Portland, Florida. You're very close to where I am in Boca Raton. I'm a Floridian, but I come here for about three months uh, in Michigan just to avoid the super steamy weather. All right, we have a jam-packed room. All right. Okay, we're going to start in just a bit. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hey! All right. Awesome. I love Grand Rapids. I love Holland. We go quite often there. Neighbors. Hey, Matt. Awesome. All right. Let me see. All right. Okay. Wow. This is awesome. Okay. Hold on just a second. Let me just get ready on my side. I had a little glitch here with the, with the Zoom room, but... Hopefully everything is all set for now. Okay, here we go. Okay, Warren, Michigan, Hamal, no freaking way. I'm in Macomb, Michigan. No freaking way, seriously. Okay, awesome. Okay, guys, so let's get us started. We have a really busy day. Uh, we have the CPI numbers. Send Morris, Michigan. Hey, Michiganders. I just got to say, I can't, you know, I, I get this question a lot. Like, why don't you just move to Florida? I was like, I, I just love Michigan so much. I just can't. I've lived here like forever. And uh, I just, you know, um, I, I don't know. I, I guess I have roots here. I don't know. I've developed roots here. Because <laughs> I I love it. I love everything about the summers in Michigan. Um, you know, the weather, uh, the fact that I live so close to the lake. Uh, it, it's just beautiful. New York is gorgeous as well. Too hot. Yeah, it is a bit too steamy. That's why I'm here. Hey, Lori. <laughs> okay, here are my neighbors. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Let's get down to business, okay? So just want to say hi to everybody and thank you so much for joining the open house. Uh, and uh, just wanted to take this away and share the other screen with the charts. So I have plotted the levels for the trading session today. All right, here we go. So you guys see this. All right, you can see that we have notations, we have everything that we need for the trading day just to get started. We have the CPI numbers. The CPI numbers took the prices up and now they're just, you know, meandering, not quite that much higher, okay? We're gonna have to wait and see. And we have about, what, 10 minutes left uh, into the New York trading session open. And basically we need to see how we open. Okay, we need to see how the um, uh, algos are going to see this situation right here. Uh, we're going to talk about the market in just a few moments. However, I want to bring up uh, some other releases that we have for the trading session today and for tomorrow, because tomorrow you're not going to be trading with me. Some of you guys may be trading on your own tomorrow. So some things to take into consideration. So we have the big CPI numbers now. If you're a regular member of the trading room, I really don't care what the numbers are because I'm a day trader, right? Uh, so from the day trading side, I really don't care. I never trade literally before the news or into the news spectrum. I wait until the news is digested and then I get into uh, the trade. So basically at the New York trading session, uh, open, the market has time to digest whatever came out. 
The reason why I'm not really interested in the numbers is because very few people know how to interpret these numbers. And you could have good numbers that are coming out and then you could have a negative market reaction and the other way around. So why overcomplicate? So I look at the economic calendar just to be aware of the high impact areas that are literally going to uh, impact my trading. So I know that I'm not going to trade around that specific time. There are traders and there are ways in which you can trade uh, CPI numbers, but there's no, or FOMC or any, any kind of news release. However, the problem is that you cannot use a stop or if you use a protective stop, it has to be really wide to accommodate the spikes, right? So you can see here, uh, why do I have RTY here? Okay. All right. So you can see here that we have, um, you know, these, these spikes, right? So if you want to take it long, for example, you can't have a stop, let's say into the 254, like you have to go way, way down because these spikes are unpredictable right? They're totally unpredictable. So you don't know whether you want to go short or long. You could get stopped out in the trade in an instant. So what I do is I wait until all the news is out and then we're, uh, and then I'm trading. So it's real, literally, if I want to gamble, I just go to the casino. So like I said, you probably saw from my trading style, I'm a very conservative trader. I think a gazillion times before I take a trade. So, um, uh, I, I have a well thought process into my trading, but let's get down to the economic releases for the trading session today. Uh, first of all, uh, again, we're going to start off with, okay, uh, we're going to start off with this reaction off of the CPI, CPI. So probably off the open, you're going to see a lot of volatility happen. Uh, we're going to see if we can trade into that or not, because if we can trade into that, we're pretty much going to be done very, very quickly. Um, also, at 1030, we have natural gas storage. At uh, 1 o'clock, we have the 30-year bond auction. Uh, at 2 o'clock today, we have the federal budget balance. And at 415, we have an FOMC member that will be speaking. And then I was mentioning that tomorrow, some of you guys are not going to be in my trading room. So you guys are going to need to trade on your own. Uh, 8.30, big chunk of numbers are coming out. So it's going to be very similar to what we had today in the CPIs. We have the core PPI and the PPI and the preliminary University of Michigan consumer sentiment and inflation expectations. Now, the PPI, num the, uh, PPI numbers are coming in at 8.30. So they're coming before the market opens. And the uh, preliminary University of Michigan consumer uh, sentiment and inflation expectation. They're coming in at 10 o'clock. So careful around 9.30 and 10 o'clock, you're going to get the same impulse that we're going to be getting today off the open. And that is going to be uh, highly volatile and choppy. So if you don't have a really good plan on how to trade that, just don't and wait and wait for at least 10 minutes until the price action subsides a little bit. And it's more favorable to form a pattern or a setup. And then at 10 o'clock, uh, you have the um, uh, preliminary University of Michigan uh, consumer sentiment and inflation expectation, which is coming into a reversal time, a reactionary time in the market. So if you have a reaction off of the PPI numbers at 930, between 930 and 10 o'clock, you may have the opposite reaction going into 10 o'clock. And then the price action may try to settle into 1030 and may reach a directional bias at 1030. So from 1030, you look for the dominant trend that was established from 930 till 1030. This is pretty much how we are going to be trading today. We have a lit, we had a lift off in yesterday's session. We, I did manage to tell you guys that we had a, a rotational time at 1030, and that was the liftoff. Remember the NASDAQ trade? We will revisit that later on today if you want to revisit it. Uh, but definitely, we know how to identify these inflection points from which the market reacts in the opposite direction. And the signs, the short squeezes, we talked about the short squeeze and how to identify these short squeezes and definitely how to trade them. 
And it was a very nice trade going for uh, throughout uh, throughout the day, right? Okay, so let's get started, everybody. And uh, let's take a look at the market. Let's see where we're at and uh, what our game plan is for the trading session today. All right, so let's get this ready here. All right, cool. All right. Uh, okay, so first of all, uh, let's take a look at you know, our panel and see how to start the day. First of all, we have uh, the Dow, which is uh, 183 points to the upside. We have the uh, M&E S&P, which is uh, 25 points up. We have NASDAQ, which is 123 points up. And we have Russell, which is just seven points up. So Russell is 0.39% uh, to the upside. We have NASDAQ, which is 0.82%, and we have half a percent off in the S&P and into YM. Gold is uh, up for the day, just about $3.40 up, 0.17%, not a significant increase in price. So that's not very significant. And we have oil just about half a dollar, a little bit over half a dollar down. Uh, it's basically sideways. So now we're going to take you to the analysis screen and determine our game plan for the trading session today. All right. Okay. And we're going to start with the Dowski. Okay. All right. So the Dow, we're, we're going to start off with the daily, right? So what are we noticed? Uh, what have we noticed in the Dow lately? It has been range bound for one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth day in which it has been basing. Not weak, so not bearish, but definitely not, not bullish either because it didn't advance, right? It was in sync with the rest of the indices. However, the rest of the indices were wobbly. And that is because the seasonality for August is kind of favoring more Dow to the upside and it's favoring a chop into NASDAQ, Russell and the m and &E So if you look throughout the chart, you notice that we have a massive dominant trend. We have an uptrend, typical uptrend with higher highs, with higher lows, right? Now, if we manage to break above these, this cluster high, which is into the 35,600, we would confirm another higher low, which would send the pattern into a bullish scenario that would challenge the prior high into the 800. So we're getting this inside action. Yesterday, we had a digestion action. We digested the flash tape bomb that we had and again, it was definitely a news-driven environment that we had two days ago. And you can see it right here. We had a flash move to the downside, support held. And notice one thing that is very important. You see this bar pivot high, right? This is resistance. And oftentimes, these resistance areas, they serve as support in ongoing price action, right? So notice that this high is quite above this high. So that means that it's trying to set a nice power trend. Yesterday, we also talked about something that is really interesting, right? And you need to keep, you need to be aware of every single time the price is trading above the 20 SMA, you should think bullish, not bearish. When the price action trades below the MAs, the 20 SMA, the 10 EMA, but in particular, the 20 SMA, then you become more to the to the bearish side. And I'm not saying that you're you're going to be in a downtrend. I'm saying that trades to the downside are a lot more favorable in this aspect. OK, so basically we have a very bullish situation right here. On the other side in the Dow, we're smack into the 200 SMA. So this is 
very, very complicated because it has tons of resistance all the way to 500. So it has resistance from the 200 simple moving average. It has resistance from a pivot. It has resistance from a prior pivot high. And then this is going to be a situation here that if the price trades over 500, we had the same level yesterday. We didn't have to change a thing. Uh, it, and pretty much you can see that we had a, uh, we had a, really wide ranging action from 35,100 to 35,500. That's super wide, right? 400 point up, 400 point down. So it's quite a wiggle in price action. Okay. The market just uh, opened right now. Uh, we're going to let it digest for about five minutes, and then we're going to switch the screen and start watching for some trades for today. But we want to make sure that we understand the context of the market. So the Dow, uh, this is the bottom line, the Dow overall daily bullish. Overall, all the macro levels are bullish. And we're having a sideways chop, huge 400 point range chop into the one hour. So definitely we're going to be bullish above. 500 and that's going to encourage transition to the upside into 550 600 700 800 and over 800 we can expect a real easier transition for about 200 points to 36,000. and the macro level actually you can see here it has the uh has room to 36 800 and that's from the prior high from january 2022 january 3rd 2022 all right, this is the doubt. Let's take a quick look at the m and &E SMP because, um, you know, most of the patterns are pretty much into, uh, from now on, are into the same type of uh, cluster of uh, uh, decision. So we're noticing this time around, we're going to start with the hourly because this is where the change of the guard is coming. The change of the guard and the change of the trend is always coming from smaller time frame to higher time frame. In a trend, you're getting the macro push, uh, from the highest time frame to the smallest time frame. So here we notice that we have high, lower high, lower high, lower high. We have a double bottom formation and we're back into the chop, right? So this is the core of the range. Now, as I was saying yesterday, the core of the range is very difficult to trade because it's 50% bullish and it's 50% bearish. Now, notice that the weekly just you know, barely topped right here with these lows that we had in yesterday and the day before, right very close to the 10 EMA. Now, this is not uh, this is not bearish. It, it means that we still have plenty of support around uh, the 4,500 uh, level. And in fact, you could see that 4,500 is again that core. So again, 50-50 chance, right? 50% chance for the upside, 50% chance for the downside. We do, however, have some levels out and I do have some other levels as well notated on my other charts. Uh, but overall, uh, over 45, 35, 45, 40, we become to be a little bit more bearish. We're escaping the chop from yesterday, uh, but we're uh, also landing, uh, excuse me, I feel like it's easy. Uh, we're also landing <laughs> into a resistance zone from the 200 simple moving average, which is going to be a problem. This is going to be a pattern slowdown right here. And this is going to be the next inflection point, the next decision point, because if we don't digest through this 46. So ideally what we want to see, we want to see the price up and shop around into the 40 levels, just up and down, up and down, 10 point range, 15 point range, that's fine. That range development into these highs would signal a digestion of this 200 SMA and a further pop up to 60. From this point on, stay long all the way to the 46.26. And now let's take a quick look at NASDAQ. We're seeing divergency right now in the market. I'm looking at my other screen. The Dow is up. What else is new? <clears throat> and then we are seeing NASDAQ a little bit divergent to the downside along with Russell and the S&P is trying to hold. So anyways, let's take a look at NASDAQ. Highs, lower highs. This is what we're identifying right now. We also have some minor resistance levels. Notice the resistance levels that we have right here. So we have quite a lot of resistance levels, right? Notice the tap down on the weekly, which is very significant. That is coming into a prior high. So we have massive, massive minor support zone. So what this means is that this 15,100, 150 is likely to hold if the pattern improves 
on the one hour and on the smaller time frames that would suggest a rotation back to the upside. Notice here that we had a chop right into the 50 SMA. And the last time we have visited the 50 SMA was back in March. That was the beginning of March when we had the contract rollover. And uh, definitely it was an attractive point for the indices because it was a real massive confluence area. We had a golden cross as well. We had the 200 SMA with the 50 SMA. And then the price actions dipped up into a power trend off of the 20 SMA and the 10 EMA. And now it pulled back for the first time in such a long time back into the 50 SMA. So they're trying to find their um, you know, desired location uh, for the next uh, for the next reversal. We may and we may have, okay, here it is. I'm going to zoom it in a little bit. Uh, anything that trades over 445, and in fact, it is uh, uh, 430 to 445. You can see it right here with purple. It says bullish above. This is going to be bullish above, and it's going to have some space to squeeze into the 600, which is, uh, we're, we have it on our intraday levels as well here. And then we have um, uh, RT. Did we talk about SMP? Forgot. Did we talk about SMP? Uh, yeah, we did with the double bottom. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, and then RTY. See, I'm looking at charts and doing the analysis both at the same time. Okay, but the price action is digesting right now. We're getting the Dow a little bit into the bullish above. Okay. And uh, RTY is still into a lot of chop. I like RTY over 80. I'm going to revisit it next week. Not a lot of thought into it. So let's get into the indices right now. I'm not really concerned about gold or oil at this point. So uh, at this moment, I'm very interested to see if we can find some trades into uh, into one indice or the other. Uh, you can see that now we just snapped above. Um, in uh, uh, YM. So like I said, YM is definitely one of the most uh, bullish indices. And it just snapped above the bullish above. Here are the levels so you guys can see how they're, you know, how they're trading. I'm gonna squish uh, the charts a little bit. We don't have a lot of levels into RTY, but this is a moderate bullish buy. So very, very shy. Uh, but definitely, you know, very interesting what we have going on right now. Okay, so we had a swish to the upside right now into the Dow Dow trying to poke above this bullish above level, which is into the 500, just uh, 20 points high. It also signaled a daily rotation and it has the next resistance into the 50 and into the 70. So any kind of pullback in the Dow is going to be viable. I kind of missed a trade here at, uh, at 500, to be very honest, because I took a little longer with the analysis. All right, so... Yeah, so now we're not going to be chasing. We're not going to be chasing. See, I, I, I liked it here at 500. And we had a two minute. Let me show you what we had. We had this two minute sandwich over here that I totally missed. All right. Well, it happens. We're not going to be chasing it. So we're going to be uh, watching and see. Now, remember the, the next time when we have right now a um, um, little bit of a pullback is going to be uh, into the 9.45. So we have, yeah, we have a little bit of time. Yeah, we have a little bit of time. So everything started to move a little bit. And I think the only index that hasn't moved uh, as much as RTY. So RTY is the laggard, but at the same time can potentially be a breakout. All right, Joe, what do you think? <laughs> Joe, what do you think? I'm looking at... Uh, over this five minute high here uh, into the 49 with a potential stop for 42. And that's because we missed the boat and the, and the Dow. And the Dow was my favorite. So that can potentially be, yeah, yeah me too. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it. Oh my gosh, you guys are in Dow already. Good job, guys. Do, do you guys find these level help, levels helpful? Isn't it cool to have these levels? Now you know what to expect. So this is going to be the slowdown in NASDAQ. This is the slowdown in NASDAQ right here. Okay, it says minor resistance, minor resistance zone. This is a little bit of a slowdown. Once it breaks above these levels, it's flying. So if it manages to get over 80, it's going to fly. All right, let's get, I mean, I would hate to get the weakest one, but we don't have a choice. Uh, because we're not chasing the rest of the indices. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm thinking of uh, 49 and a half for RTY. 1949 and a half. And uh, applying a stop of uh, 1940, getting a little bit more room to the stop just because we have <clears throat> we have this pivot right here. And I want to accommodate that pivot. And room to run definitely into this prior high. So targets uh, are going to be into the 1955 and 1960, if it gets there, and 1964. Well, a little bit below 1964. That's the top of the resistance, 1964. All right. So RTY is out. And there's another sandwich in. And wait for the trigger. Don't rush in. Uh, Dow is see we're getting very close. It it's getting very which I like. It's getting very close to the bullish above. However, it is we're approaching the nine forty five. We're approaching the nine forty five. Okay, Randy signaling a sandwich in nasdaq on the 15 minute let's check, check it out because i don't have the 15 minute on it already triggered yeah too bad ready it already triggered okay it already triggered great eye andy on that nasdaq that 15 minute sandwich this was the sandwich right here boop up all right yeah again we're late on that one uh we're stocking so we're stocking this we're stocking the 49 49.5. Gonna put a quick alert in here, 49.5. So you guys see it. All right. <clears throat> that should be our entry. And I'm stocking, stocking everything else that there is, to be honest. Any kind of pullback may be viable at this point. NASDAQ slowed down. NASDAQ is into a, a pivot on the New York trading session chart. So uh, if it starts taking out the three three fifteens, it's going to start coming bit, coming in a little bit. All right, maybe they're giving us another another chance, another opportunity here. Choking YM five twenty. Uh, yes, 520, 520, you got it, 520. Uh, why am a signal? I call this like a Hail Mary trade, like a, a momentum scalp. If it escapes the 945 pullback, so if it's not going to come in into the 945, it's going to start moving higher. So the trigger may be uh, 360 and by Joe's stop trail stop of 320 but let's see we have some topping tails on the five you guys can see it all right no trigger yet in the dowski daniel loves over 375 we may get an earlier entry daniel than that yeah we may get the 375 is like into the clear look at this this is going to be like easier transition higher this is going to be hard 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 from from here from where it snapped up all the way to this data line it's going to be a little bit more difficult but if it consolidates here into 10 o'clock it's going to go but that's the clear that is like any kind of strategy can be applied over daniel's level of 375 and it has a transition uh space to 432. Rob, <laughs> what you need to do, yeah, I understand, I understand. <laughs> um, here's the deal. You need to have a better workspace 
just get two extra monitors, plug them in. And if you guys, I can share with you the secret of the setup so you don't have to toggle through, through charts. Does that sound good if I share that with you guys, but after trading? Okay. And trust me, you don't need to have like a sophisticated computer or anything like that. Okay. You could just, uh, you could just do it with a laptop and two, uh, two other screens and I'll show you the exact setup. Oh my goodness, Rob, are you kidding me? You're at work. Awesome. Awesome. I really appreciate the effort and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So yeah, of course, I'm going to help you even on one screen. Just just stay on this screen. Rob, just stay on this screen. Do you have, can, can you? <laughs> I, there's so many people work and trade. I know. <clears throat> Rob, if you if you have this screen, just have this screen on and just have the order screen over, uh, for example, I don't know what platform you're using, but just have an, your order screen covering gold or oil. You don't need gold or oil right now if you're focusing and especially if you're at work. Yeah, okay. We, we're getting some sandwiches, guys. All right, we're going to have NASDAQ as well. There are going to be a lot of trades that are uh, lining up right now. Uh, first of all, it's going to be NASDAQ long. I, I don't know what to, okay, why I'm long, because that's my favorite. So many triggers are happening uh, at the same time. By the way, Russell, our trade triggered. Oh, I don't want to miss it. Okay, 555 long in YM, the stop. 555 long in YM. Stop is going to have to go into the uh, 490, 490, just a little bit under 490 for the stop, 490 for the stop. So the entry is 555. The stop is 490. Let's look for the target of one into the 600. Things are happening super fast right now. Okay. I didn't have time to call the rest of the trades. It happened super fast. Ah. <laughs> super fast that's what happens when you get an open house you get distracted and you start answering questions okay the strategy that we're applying in the Dow is a sandwich a sandwich on the five minute and a breakout a breakout on the one and the two minute okay oh my goodness all right so other targets over 600 you guys can see here okay so we're going for the 600 we go to 650, right? And that's following target, target 650, okay? And for Russell, we have it here at 55, 60, 64, okay? So it's very obvious. Do you guys see it on the chart? It's so obvious, right? Prior high, dotted line, dotted line, boom, 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 okay? Aren't these levels spectacular? They're pretty cool. All right. All right, let's go. We're not that far away from 55 <clears throat> in Russell. Yeah, I wanted to call, I wanted to call NASDAQ here over 355. I don't know if I did or not. Did I say it out loud? Yeah. Did I say it out loud? Did I manage to say it out loud? <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I did, Phyllis. Yeah, I, I didn't take it, but I'm in YM and Russell. Exactly, Tom. Exactly. It's the narrative. It's, it's the news, news-driven market. Here it is. All right, come on. We're into the bullish above here. Confirmation bullish above in YM over 569. This is cool. All right. Darn it. I wanted to take NASDAQ, but I didn't get a chance. I wanted to, I don't know. How many of you guys are in NASDAQ? 
I missed it as well. Oh, good job, guys. Awesome. Do you guys need target? 400 is the target. And then over 400, 420. So targets in NASDAQ in case you need them. Hey, Riaz. Hey. Why am SP and NASDAQ? That's fantastic. Awesome. <clears throat> Ro, you're rocking and rolling. Oh my goodness. I didn't have a chance to uh, really follow the chat that much. I answered a couple of questions and that's, you know. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We still have a point away from RTY. <clears throat> Partial profits area. Wine is into a pivot, New York trading session pivot at 580. We need to break above the 580 in order to get to 600. But when we get to, and when we will get to the 600, we will start zipping towards the 650. A little bit of a slowdown because SMP is approaching that bullish above area. And remember, the bullish above area is when the price pokes above that purple line. And we need to see the price. And until then, this still is this still is resistance, right? These purple lines are resistance until the price breaks above them. And when the price breaks above them, uh, they're going to get sucked into the next targets. And the next target is going to be approximately into the 60. And at which point, stay long. Okay, so shorting is not going to be an option at those uh, at those levels. Yeah, I wasn't fast enough to get NASDAQ. Talking and trading. Not a good combination. Come on, YM. And YM is really trying to, I don't know if you guys see it here, really trying to digest through this line. Right here is going back and forth. There is a possibility that uh, it may start to pull back. And if it pulls back, it may start landing into the 520 again. Reju, this is the Think or Swim screen share. Okay, let's see. Oh, Wilson, the entry in NASDAQ was 355. Now, careful, because I didn't mention the 355. Now, don't put an order at 355. Don't put an order at 355 if you see a pullback. Never do that, because it's going to, uh, every single pullback is a recalibration of price. Let it calibrate and let it give you another entry if you miss NASDAQ. Just don't hop in. Don't say, okay, I missed it. If it pulls back to 355, I'm going to get back in. No, because if you do that, there is a strong chance that we're running into, uh, running into 10 o'clock and 10 o'clock comes, comes with obviously a reactionary time, maybe a reversal, if not a base. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. All right. All right, we we have our stops set. I would say we're holding fairly well. Um,
Okay, let's go, let's go, let's see. Okay, so here is that resistance that we digested. These are just New York trading session charts. I sent you guys the link in there so you can see it. Because I'm not toggling my screen while I'm in trades. We have the 600 in the back and we're getting a sandwich in Russell. If you want, you can scale some out at 600. Let's go to 620. Let's see here. It says stay long, bullish above, stay long. 620 to 650 next targets. And if we get the price over 55 in the Dow, uh, in Russell, Russell is a little bit weaker, but if we get the price over 55, uh, we're going to be reducing the stop. We have four minutes into the top of the hour. My goal is to get it as far up as possible into 10 o'clock or very close to 10 o'clock. No trail stop yet. We're on it. No trail yet. It, so far, the dynamic is okay. We're not seeing signs of slowdown. Falling is coming in constantly. Let's see how it behaves into towards into six, towards six twenty and into six twenty. Come on, RTY, hit that 55. Remember, 55, you can uh, scale a little bit out. All right, today at 1030, we have natural gas numbers coming out. One point away from 620. If you want, you can still scale a little bit out. If not, just hold the entire position. Even if you're trading with one contract, uh, just stay in. I'll let you guys know when it's time to get out or trail. Blame me. It's easier. So I go, I'm like, yeah, but she told me. Yeah, okay, blame me. Isn't it easier, right? <laughs> All right. So again, if you want, you can place a little bit of scaling out situation at 620. And then if we break above 620, then we go to 650. All right. We're almost, almost at 55. Once again, RTY at 55. Partial profit out if you want. If not, keep the whole position in depending on how you trade and how many, how much size you have. Uh, you could just keep it all in. We're going to be reducing the stop. Okay, here's 55, target one achieved in RTY. 
all of these indices, by the way, they snapped so fast uh, into the 945 timing that it's such a bummer because I couldn't call all of them. I had a chance to call NASDAQ, but I personally missed it. I'm really happy that you guys got it. Uh, I'm here with RTY and YM. Okay, so good job, guys. You could see it here. Um, a huge target uh, in NASDAQ. 400, 420. This is really frothy area. If you're a new trader, take it all out because you're going to see a little bit of a slowdown into the purple line. You're getting in. It's 10 o'clock right now. It's 10 o'clock reversal time. So this is a mumbo jumbo situation. Okay. Is it make it or break it? Just stay in. Don't worry about it. I will let you know when to get out or when to trail. Just relax, enjoy the ride. All right. All right, 650 achieved. Right on. Now this is the problem area. This is the problem area. So this is where we need to I'm so glad I'm driving. I know. Okay, I promised you guys that in RTY, we're going to be lifting the stop a little bit higher. So RTY trail stop lifted. I'm thinking 1950. I'm thinking 1950. Let's do 1949. Let's do 1949. And here it is. Stay in, stay in everything. Just if you're a new trader, you can actually exit now, but the momentum in NASDAQ, but momentum is very strong, so you can continue to stay in. This is a big deal here because the algos are reading this dotted line like crazy and they're reacting off of it, okay? But hopefully because we have strong momentum in uh, the Dow, uh, in NASDAQ and S&P and in Russell, hopefully in Russell, fingers crossed. Mm -mm -mm. Rob, there's always another day. We trade like this every day in the trading room. <laughs> uh, it, Odell, it, it's, uh, it's an algo level. So it makes it or breaks it and it slows down the momentum. Typically. Lori, from your lips to the trading God's ears. Two little skinny dojis in YM. Okay, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Dow really needs to make it over 60 over 660. If it makes it over 660, it's going to 700. So at this point in time, we're in trail mode, really active trail mode. And I'm thinking right now, if it loses momentum, we need to trail 620 in the Dow. I'm not releasing it yet. If you guys need help with trail stops, just let me know. No, they're not fibs. April, we're not using fibs um, at this point. We're only using fibs on um, monthly charts, sometimes weekly, but monthly in general. Okay, indecision time.
Okay, why am trail 620? Stay here. I would say if you guys are in NASDAQ, your trail is 420. 420. Six twenty trail in YM. Russell remains active for the moment. It's ten o'clock. What can I say? Um, RTY trail. Nineteen fifty three. So all of these trails are in the money, okay? They're all in the money. Okay, back in here on the five momentum is still doing good. All right, just excuse me for one sec. All right, sorry about that. We have a lot going on at the house. <laughs> All right, so we're still in. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, good now. Okay, cool. All right, so our trail in YM is still 620. We're not making any other changes. We have a low of 622. Yeah, Tom, here's the thing with these open houses, like you don't know what kind of price action you're going to be getting and our annual open house is always in August. <laughs> it's always, uh, it's always the second week of August. And um, okay, so you you guys are out 620 here. So those of you guys that were in uh, NASDAQ, you guys are out. It's kind of like a surprise party because you don't know what you're getting. And typically in the summertime, you know, and in August, you know, the price action is not as great. So maybe we should pick like some other uh, dates for the open house when the price action is actually doing something better. But you guys saw the chop that we had on the first day of the open house and the second day of the open house. And I think that shows you a bit better of how I trade and you know, uh, the style, by the way, we're four ticks away from 60, 60 is a massive target, by the way, see this dotted line right here, remember, that's an algo reactive, you got it, Tom, it's like a box of chocolates, and if you're like me, I'm kind of like going through them, and taking a bite, putting, putting it back, taking a bite, putting it back, <laughs> okay, okay, so by the way, guys, why I'm still holding the 620, and we are literally, literally, uh, right now, uh, yay, we got the 60. How exciting is that? Open house every month. Do you guys, would you guys want an open house every month? Like, I would do like a one day every month. It's distracting to me. Uh, open houses are very distracting to me because I have to like, you know, talk. There are so many people. We have so many people in the room right now. Just crazy. It's too much. It's too much. I know, Don. It's crazy. You want this market every day? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so the next target that we're going in RTY is 64. Okay, we have our 60s, guys, in uh, in the Dow. So remember what I said, if the price goes above 60, then we have uh, we have a pretty good chance of going towards uh, 680 and 700. So the next targets uh, in YM, uh, X targets in YM are 680 and 700. Let's just have them in here. Let's see if we get this baby to 64. And this is going to be a moderate bullish above. So this is really mild. This was, you know, the kind of trade that we're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. They're not automated. If you guys saw me this morning being a little bit late in the day, no, we trace these levels and we teach them in the, you can trace your own levels. We teach them in our course and our power income course. I mean, you guys can see why we're calling this the power income room, right? And why we teach the power income class. I mean, we put our money where our mouth is. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, we're still gonna stick with, uh, I took some partial profits at 60 because that was the big target for me. Uh, but uh, we, we definitely are gonna keep the same, uh, the same trail stop in RTY. Let me see if we can lift it. Uh, yeah, we can lift it. We could do uh, RTY. This is the new trail stop. 1958. So raise your stop to 1958. Same 20, same 20, same 620 goes for YM, by the way. Okay, so let's Take this off. 1958 is the trail stop. Don't let it go below that level because if it takes out that level, it's going lower. We've already started the uh, the 10 o'clock descent. Okay. Fasten your seat belts. We're still holding in uh, in the Dow. Okay. No, I've been taken out right now. So why I'm uh, why I'm closed with profits. You guys that were in NASDAQ, you guys are out, you're done. And we still have, uh, we still have RTY. Okay. Gorgeous move. Do you, you guys realize a hundred points in the Dow, right? We got it. Well, we got the Dow at five five five, and it ran into six six zero. Right, a hundred points. Okay. By the way, this could be another breakout if you want to take it over sixty. So sixty two would be the entry. You could put your stop at six hundred. The timing is not that great, but it may work. I personally am not going to do it. So I have one of the lots that I took um, out at 660 made me like a little bit over 100 points. And then the rest I trailed at 620, which is still pretty impressive. All right. So Uncle Russell, come on, baby. You need to hit that 65 for us. Make us money. The next target in uh, in Russell is going to be 70. <clears throat> FYI, 70. <clears throat> hey, Michael, over this, I was just saying that over this 60, so that would be like 62 for the entry. The stop would be, uh, so 662 by 600. You have this dotted line that says stay long, right? And you're entering like a really massive tradable void. Like, wow. Wowzers. 
Okay, but remember, we're trading guys into, uh, yes, but we're trading into 10 o'clock reversal time. I'm personally not taking that trade. I'm just trailing Russell. Just FYI. Thank you, Doji man. I am not giving any money back. Okay, so you guys pretty much are getting a flavor. Do you see me like yelling, screaming, pulling my hair out? Like, no, this is a stress-free environment. And like I said, you know, and I don't take this lightly, but if you don't have a system that works for you, and if you're not consistently profitable, do not take your trades. How many people tell you that? How many traders tell you that? Every single trader on the, on the planet or any kind of guru out there is going to tell you, you need to develop like your own system. Like trading is so personal. Uh, watch your time frames, and uh, yeah, you can trade, but you got to develop your style. You got to find your own trading plan. You got to do this. You got to do that. It's like, okay. But I'm like, and this was so mind boggling, boggling for me. Like when I started trading, it's like every single instructor that I ran into and I had my fair share. <laughs> Hey, Ronald, like, like, tell me that's not true. How many times have you heard? I'm, I guess everybody in here, type of one in the room. If you have ever had a class, a webinar, whatever it is, and they told you, you need to develop your trading style. Trading is very personal. Um, yeah, I mean, seriously, right? Here's my thought on that baloney. If you have a winning system, why not share it? There's so much money into the market, right? Everybody can have a piece of it. Like seriously. Yeah, make your own rules. Like seriously. But if I have rules that work for me and got me to where I am right now, and you guys could see the setup that I take and I'm, I'm a really conservative trader and I wasn't always like this. I became a very conservative trader when I started the trading room because that was not only the case I was I would I would get in some really aggressive stuff okay so anyways bottom line is that you know my thing was that if I have a winning system you love the funny voice yeah because, yeah they do that and they're so serious it's like yeah it's like you need to have your trading style you need to learn how to trade, trade small. <laughs> so yeah, so my thing was that if I develop a trading style and if it works for me and it works in two hours or less, why would I not share that knowledge with everybody like I did in these past three days? I'm sharing my trades out loud and my performance speaks for itself. Seriously. So I like to share with my traders where I get in, why I get in, where I place my stop, where I see the targets, and how to trail into targets. Because nobody tells you this, okay? How to trail into targets. Anyone can do it. Yes, yeah, I know. Oh, if I did it, I'm like a stay-at-home mom. You can do it as well. It's so easy. <laughs> I know. And yet 80 and yet 95% of the traders fail. Crazy. Okay, keep the tight stop here. Uh don't let it go below 58. We're getting into that. We're descending now. We're landing. Okay, we're landing. Fasten your seat belts. We're landing. It's not gonna be a crash landing. It's gonna be like a pit stop landing. Okay, it's gonna be a pullback, and then probably we're gonna take off again. <laughs> exactly oh it's so easy you buy low and sell high <laughs> you buy on support you sell into resistance you get your freaking ass kicked if you sell into resistance on a power trend day you're gonna get a pullback of probably five points or two points and then the price phew, takes off on you like seriously that would be a touch and go exactly
Yeah, don't you guys like the fancy indicators? Blip, blip. Okay, perfect indicators. And I, I don't have anything against indicators, by the way. But if there's one that is working, I want, I mean, why would like literally, you know? <laughs> oh, I had my fair share of indicators. Oh, I could tell you stories about my indicators. By the way, we're still, you know, pretty much. I mean, I haven't been taken out, to be honest, in RTY. There, there was just a blip there. But if you were out, you're out. Let me know if you guys are still in RTY. Because it hit that 58, but my order is still uh, is still uh, active. Tom, you're still in. I'm still out. Okay. Now I'm out. I'm out now. They took me out. 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 I'm with profits. RTY. RTY trailed with profits. All right. So this is profits. You get it. It's a typo. Uh, so this is pretty much what I specialize in. I specialize in the open. I love it when we have a little bit of uh, drama in the market. I love it when we have some kind of news that is kind of like shaking the market a little bit so we can, you know, have a trade. And, uh, you know, this, this, pretty much my day ends here. Like I'm not giving profits back. The um, market right now is in a pullback. There's no telling on what the price action is going to do from now on. Remember that tomorrow at nine o'clock, nine, eight 30. I'm sorry. I, at eight 30, we have some other data that is coming in and uh, probably the market will want to calibrate. Okay. Into that level. Was a good day for the open house. Yeah. Yes, on a green note. Yeah, it was a good day because uh, we had a uh, pretty much of a chop um, these past two days. But overall, I mean, we made money. Okay, we made money on both days. We uh, we had trades on all days, so uh, we didn't, you know, do nothing. Oh, Rob, you're gonna have a chance to uh, view it on recording. By the way, all the recordings. Uh, are going to be uh, on our YouTube channel, and uh, they're going to be in. Uh, they're going to be there till Friday night at midnight. Just FYI. So yesterday I shared um, a very important lecture about position sizing and how you can grow your account consistently. And please watch that. Take notes of that. And if you respect that, trust me, you have my word. You're going to make money. You're going to make it in this industry. It's the only thing. It's actually more important than the strategy that you're applying. It's more important than your entry, stops, targets, anything else. Uh, because if you know how to position size, you're, you're literally going to uh, have a huge advantage over all the other traders. And it's going to be a huge advantage for you and your account. Okay. So the market is in a pullback right now. Would it be okay if I would be sharing with you a little bit of, uh, you know, because we have so many questions in here uh, about the course. And I, I would say, would it be okay if we take a little bit of break now so I can share a little bit more information about the course and the Power Income course, which is coming up about a month uh, from today, about a month. Yeah, I know because I get so many questions and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. But I'm not going to take time from trading to do that. All right. So uh, let me just uh, get this ready because I wasn't really planning on doing it, but we have so many questions in here. Let me see if I have some slides ready from another presentation that I did or something. Okay, cool. All right. And let me go. Okay. Yeah, we could go through the funded accounts as well. Okay. All right. So basically, the course is the representation of everything that you saw today in here is a representation of the style of trading, the stress-free environment. It teaches you like to, you know, to be calm in the trade, to be very composed, calculated. Uh, if you miss a trade, it's not the end of the world. Just wait for another trade to come up. And, you know, like we did, uh, we had a really great 
entry, by the way, in the Dow uh, at the first bullish above level, here it is, at the first bullish above level that I missed because I went over time with explaining the pre-market game plan and the context. Uh, but we waited, right? We waited and we took the trade a little bit later into the uh, 555 on this breakout. So we waited for the pullback. The pullback came with the touchdown and then launch pad. See, and it came in here a little bit. And now this is a much bigger uh, pullback. So you can see here we had the power trend and now we're getting back into the trend. So it, it's still calibrating. So we're going to go back to the five minute here. There's a five minute rotation, by the way. Uh, this is also tradable, not going to take it. Uh, the market becomes a little bit more choppier at this time of the day, especially that we didn't have a pullback at 10 o'clock. So if you have a pullback at 10 o'clock and if the market calibrates into 1030, then the uh, best setup for the day is at 1030. But if you um, if we didn't have it, there's, uh, uh, you know, there's that possibility that we may get the pullback now at 1030. All right. All right, so I am going to, uh, okay, so yes, I'm going to talk about the course a little bit. I'm still watching the market and I'm going to share with you some uh, uh, some slide. Keep I'm keeping an eye on the market in case, you know, there's another trade. Uh, and I'm also going to tackle every single question in here today is going to be, uh, it's going to be answered. Okay. Okay, cool. All righty. So. You don't need to know what a CFD is, by the way. It's a contract, excuse me, it's a contract for difference, getting the hiccups. They're not tradable in the United States. They're not, they couldn't do a regulation on it. So, uh, but they're widely tradable. This is what everybody trades in Europe. Everybody trades it in Australia. Everybody trades it in Asia, even in Canada. Everybody trades it. CFDs, highly, highly traded. Okay. Their contract are different. The charts are the same. All you need to know is that the charts are the same. The prices are very similar. Sometimes in the futures uh, market, the prices are going to be slightly different. Okay. Um, all right. No, they are. No, they, no, Joe. They're, they're just like futures. They're just like stocks. They're just like, yeah. Okay, so let me share with you guys just, okay. Okay, so I have this from another presentation. Okay. Okay, so this is the Power Income Futures Trading Course. This is our master course. Basically, you're not only getting five days. So it is advertised. It is on the website that it's a five-day course, but it's only five days live with me. But other than that, you will be receiving uh, so much more information. You're going to be receiving uh, an introductory to futures um, in course, which is considered one day. Basically, you sign up uh, for the course and then as we're getting closer to the course, uh, two days before or three days before, we send you that information. So it's going to be a one hour just to get you ready for the course. It's a preparation work. It's an, uh, it's not orientation because it's very, very uh, comprehensive about the futures market. So you understand what you're trading, where it all began to uh, what we can trade, uh, the difference between micros, the difference between full-size contracts, the tick sizes, everything, all the nitty gritty. So everything is in there. So it's a power packed introductory class that is meant to take for you to take a day or two before the class starts and it gets you ready for the class. The class is five days in duration, like I said, but then you're going to start with the five days with me. And within the five days, you're going to have some chapters that I'm going to go uh, through the chapters a little bit. You can find some of them on our website. I'm going to walk you through those. Uh, and then after the class, you're going to receive a whole bunch of recordings uh, that are for trading psychology, 
uh, for tracing these levels. And we also do live tracing of these levels right here uh, in the class live. We usually do it in the last day. So you're going to get a bunch of other things that you, you, you don't even think that would be included with the course. So this is the comprehensive course. This is the one course that you take. You won't need another book, another mentor. I'm here. So it's not like you're buying a book from Barnes and Noble or Amazon. And if you have a question, you have nobody that can answer that question. I'm here to answer all your questions for you. The reason why the course is live is because I want you guys to get a chance to ask questions as I'm teaching the course. Because after each chapter, I ask everybody in the room, do you have any questions? Or if you have any questions for the next day, we start with Q&A and then we dig into the course. So it's very, very comprehensive. Uh, they, um, the, the, st the, uh, the style that the course is taught is super, uh, I wouldn't say aggressive, but it's very fast, okay? It's very fast because there's so much information Okay, there's so much uh, information uh, that we need to have it all out. Okay, uh, so the course is September 18th through the 22nd. It's regularly from two o'clock to 4.30. Uh, we go, there are certain chapters like technical analysis or when we talk about strategies, when we go a little bit over. So we go five o'clock or 5.15 or 5.30. I mean, we have, we definitely had classes where we went all the way to six o'clock. Okay, we take small breaks of five to 10 minutes. Uh, um, usually each, uh, each, I would say not quite every hour, but an hour and 15 minutes, an hour and 30 minutes if we go over time. Uh, nobody leaves until all the questions are answered. Everybody is in for a real treat with this course. And like I said, it's a five-day course, but it's definitely like a 90-day masterclass because you're going to have access to 90 days in the trading room uh, with, with me, uh, and that is included with the course. Okay, so here's what you're getting with the course. First of all, you're getting lifetime access to the Power Income Futures trading course. We're not going to take the course away from you. It's yours to keep. You pay for it. It's yours to keep. So what this means is that every single time I teach a course live, you can come for a retake, for a live retake, as if you just signed up. So that's the beauty about it. The most successful students, and the most successful traders are the ones that come and retake the course every month or every time we take the course for two to three years. And I'm not kidding you guys, because trading is not something that, you know, you teach in a day and you absorb it right away. So from each class that we teach for each and each day that we teach, you're going to probably absorb, absorb about 25%. It's impossible to absorb everything. I did not absorb any, like everything when I was taught uh, how to trade. Repetition is key in trading. Repetition of the class along with live trading. It's where you put the things together. Okay, see how that works. When you buy a book, you read the book. And when you're getting into the life market, you have sweaty hands. You're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're so overwhelmed. You don't know if you got it right. You don't know if that's the entry. And if you have a couple of losses, that's it. You're, you get very easily discouraged. Uh, like I said, you have lifetime access to the Power Income Futures trading course, which is live. Where we take you from zero, you don't need to have any prior trading experience. Or if you have, if you come with prior trading experience, but you have come with very bad habits in trading, because that's also a possibility, uh, then we snap you out of those and we put you right on track. So it's basically student to pro trader. The value of the course is $5,999. What else you're getting with this course? You get the e-manual. It's yours to keep forever. Uh, it is actually 600 pages. That's a type of 600 pages manual. It got to 600 pages manual of education, strategies, trading plans, 
everything that you can think of trading and things that you never even think about that are possible to be included in the manual. This is $3,000 alone. Then you get a limited retakes. Guys, repetition is key in trading. So when you come to the course, you have all that information refreshed. So when you get the first course, sometimes it's going to be a little bit overwhelming because there's so much information that is pumped into your head. You feel like your head is going to explode. Don't worry. Call for the repetitions. And remember, you start with that absorption rate of 25%. That's just going to increase. And you're going to retain, let's say, 50% and then 60% until you know how to put things together. And the course is very easy to absorb, by the way. Very easy. We had traders that went from zero to hero in literally one month. They started making money right away. We have traders that went profitable in two months. Some traders went profitable in three months. They are profitable. The students that we have are in the trading room. They continue. We consider the trading room as their, um, let's say, training wheels. Because you need to have training wheels because everything that is explained in the course needs to be correlated with the life market environment. And you will see how easy it is when you have everything that falls into place. Market is going down. No worries. You saw on the first day of the open house, we went short. The market was very choppy the next day. No worries. We had a trade long. We had a trade short right? We made money on the trade that was going, uh, that was going down, was going short, and we lost money on the day, on the trade that was going long. But you have to have that flexibility. That flexibility, you have to know when to implement it, because oftentimes when the market is in a power trend, that may not be the case. You're not going to see any shorting every five minutes or every five days, only when the environment is present, now, the unlimited retakes allow students to come to the class and retake the class for free forever. So if you want to get your wife into it, if you want to get your husband into it, uh, if you want to get your kid into it, you guys can bring your family to take that course with you. We don't charge extra for that. Because we understand how important it is to have and to learn uh, with your family. I have family members that are training, believe it or believe me, like they really are training. Uh, and they're very successful trading. Some of them just gave up their jobs and this is what they're doing right now. You know, some of them are in the trading room. They're not talking, they're not doing anything, but they're taking my trades. Um, then you have the three month access to the trading world where I definitely hold your hand through the trades. You guys saw how I called the trade today and I told you where you need to enter the trade, where you need to place your stop, where the targets are. And I didn't shut my mic off and went to get some coffee at Starbucks. No, I stayed here and I walked you through the trades. What did I tell you? You could, you could actually rewind and you can listen up. I said, don't worry about the stop. I will let you guys know when it's time to uh, trail out of the trade or when to uh, take the trade out completely. And then as we were getting into that, because the price action needs to show you when to trail out and that momentum showed continuation. So uh, definitely that included no action for us. Then you know what to do. So it's a hand-holding system. I mean, you're not going to be left in the dark. Uh, you're always going to have, we're, all, we're always going to have mentoring sessions throughout, uh, throughout, uh, throughout the weeks. Uh, if you guys need any guidance, any help, I'm here. So the trading room, like I said, it's a place where we implement everything from the course. And this is just application. The trading room is not meant for education, even though you can learn from it because you learn from my entries, from my stops, from the style, from the tra from the trails. Uh, we give lectures as well, but it's not meant for the, the comprehensive education. We have the course for that. We meet here every single day, Monday through Friday, just to make money, right? That, that's all I want out of the market in these two hours. Okay, the value of these three months is over $1,000, okay? Then we provide you access to a one-day trading lab. So for example, if you're very, very new to trading and you go like, 
oh, I don't know how to put an entry. I don't know what a, what the difference uh, is between a market order or a limit order. I don't know how to uh, trail. I don't know how to raise my trail. I don't know how to place my stop. I don't know uh, what a split is. I don't know what, uh, I mean, there's so many, uh, um, you know, there's so many things that you may not know when you're just starting your uh, trading career. And we explained this in a one day trading lab. So this would be like the third day right? So we already have five days. This is like the third day of education. And you take one day to view that as well. Plus you get one private mentoring session, one private, and this, this is for this month alone. Okay. Because I don't have a lot of time. Trust me. Uh, I trade. I'm very active in my trading. I swing trade. I scan. So I'm focused more on making money than anything else. But you get one private mentoring session with me. And the reason why I selected $5,000 for my mentoring is because my R, my risk allocated for the trade is $5,000. So I'm taking my time, my one hour out of the market to teach you what to do and what, where you need improvement. So this is coming to you as well, included with the package. We have a private Twitter feed. Should I say an X feed? Okay. Where you're alerted about the market environment. For example, if we decide to take a swing trade right now, let's say I'm looking at oil or I'm looking at natural gas or I'm looking at the bonds or I'm looking at soybeans and I'm seeing a trade. And I say, guys, let's take this. This is the entry. This is the stop. These are the targets. But the trade is a swing trade. That's not going to close at 12 o'clock when we shut down the room or 1130 when we shut down the room and where we, we're done. Because basically on a day like today, I made my money in the morning. We would not be having this conversation in the trading room because I would shut it down and we made our money. We're done. We're keeping our money. The secret to trading is make money, keep money, shut it down tomorrow, rinse and repeat. That's all there is. And look for that high velocity spike, that high velocity zone where you can make money. The more you trade does not necessarily mean the more you make, seriously. All right, so we have that private feed to alert you in case there are changes to the uh, to the uh, trajectory of that swing potential, to that swing trade, or you know, there's, for example, we had one time where my internet went down, like literally uh, Xfinity was working on my street and they shut down uh, the cable. And I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. So how am I going to tell my traders that, you know, we don't have internet, we don't have a trading room. So I got into the private Twitter feed, right? And I alerted and I said, guys, I don't have any internet, okay? So I try to make my phone a hotspot and it wouldn't take the Zoom room. So what I did is I went into Discord, right? That's why we have another backup, which is the Discord room where you can interact with other students. We have one for the trading room and one for the students, right? In case of emergency, I don't really like to use the private Twitter feed or Discord because we have the Zoom room and I love to interact live with you guys. So you guys can hear what I'm saying, you know, hear my thought. Basically I'm trading out loud, right? So these are for emergency purposes. And then we, I provided everybody with the platform layout because uh, we need to discuss this as well today. You need to have a winning layout. And what I mean by that, half of the battle is one, if you have a winning layout, you need to know what to look at charts because oftentimes, and I'm talking about 97%, somebody posted in here, uh, you know, because we were joking around and I was saying that if I can do it, everybody can do it. No, no, if I made it doesn't mean that everybody's going to do it. It takes so much commitment and effort and dedication to make trading work. It's not everybody, not everybody's going to make it in trading. Trust me when I tell you this. you need a lot of, you know, um, you need a lot of will and uh, you need a lot of patience and you need to enforce the rules. You need to create that Zen uh, uh, moment to when you're trading, just shut everything off. You know, shut off your phone, shut off your window, doors, anything like, you know, no pets, no nothing. Well, pets, yeah. Okay, sorry. No exception, pets. Yeah, you can have your pets with you. All right. But other than that, like, you don't need any speaking human around you. Okay. So no humans around you, just your pets. 
Uh, and of course, I do provide student personal support. So if you guys need any help with anything, you can email me. We can schedule a phone conversation or a Zoom conversation. If you are having difficulty with a trading pattern or something, we could get into Zoom, which is literally priceless because this is for lifetime. So five years after you took the course, you go like, man, I got into options and I have a question about that, or I got into Forex and I got a question about that. I'm, uh, I want to get investing into cryptos. I have a question about that. You have somebody that you can call or you can email and I'm that person. So we're a boutique, uh, firm, uh, that allows you to have that one-on-one -on -one connection with, uh, and of course you get the risk sheet uh, that, uh, uh, we, we get the risk sheet and performance portfolio with that much information, uh, in it, which is literally so incredible. So you can see here, like there's tons of value to this. What it all boils down is to $5,999. Uh, if you want more information on that, you can hit our website. I'm going to show you where, what the website is. Uh, we do have a special offer for you guys, and this is just for those of you guys that have uh, been into this open house, uh, and this is going to go away on August 13th. When is, this? when is the 13th? Okay, so this is until Sunday. Okay, so this is until Sunday at midnight, and the uh, you get the access for the Futures Trader Room until December 31st. What? Yeah. You get almost $1,400 bonus on this class on top of everything else that we have just, oops, that we have just discussed here. So on top of everything. So on top of this one hour, so I'm dedicating one hour of my day for you guys. So I can help you out, customize your trading plan, but this is after the course. Okay. So yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I'm not going to do backups. I, I, I got a lot of backups back in the day i'm not going to do backups anymore but i do recommend for those of you guys that are serious about trading i'm not going to tell you to get the course but i'm telling you like if you're trading you need to have uh you need to have a backup battery okay because for your computer that is going to last you either five hours or even more they have some at costco i took some snapshots of those uh, they, they were not expensive. They were like $199 or something like that. And you plug it into your computer. Basically you have, uh, you have a computer and internet connection, uh, for another five hours. And I also recommend have your phone and have your broker on speed dial, have your, uh, trading app installed on your phone. So when you click on it, you just, you know, you just uh, go to your, um, you just go to your, um, here it is. Okay, sorry, just, okay. So you just go to your broker and uh, you just uh, click on it and there it is, okay? All right. So this is pretty much what we offer. Now, uh, let me take you to the course to see what we're teaching, right? Uh, so basically uh, you go to our website, you go under education, futures day trading. Okay. So under futures day trading, it's a five day, but it's literally like a 90 day. So we're going to be changing that because we want to have a structure for 90 days with you guys from now on. And everybody uh, that took the course prior, obviously grandfathered in. So it's going to be a 90 day course, master course from now on. And let me take you to the curriculum of what you, uh, what we will be teaching. Okay. So first of all, I, uh, I told you guys that we will have an introduction to the futures market. This is a super comprehensive intro to what you're about to get into. And this will be released a couple of days before the live class. So uh, definitely it's going to be around that weekend before the live class starts. And we're going to talk about internet futures, market participants. We're going to talk a little bit about algorithmic trading. Uh, we're going to talk about hedge funds. We're going to talk about uh, portfolio managers. We're going to talk about a lot of uh, a, a lot of market participants and a little bit of uh, um, uh, insight and in what they're looking uh, into the market. We're going to talk about contracts, contract sizes, rollovers. I mean, you guys need to have all 
If you guys are serious about futures, you need this course. If you're serious about generating income in two hours or less, you need this course, hands down. Uh, this is the one place where you learn everything A to Z. I, I can't think of anything at this moment in time. And people that are here in the trading room, my students that have already attended this course, either you know the last time when I taught it or last year or five years ago or 10 years ago, they're still here with me, okay? Uh, because they love the company. Uh, we're a team, okay? We're a team now. We're, we're, we're just like family. We've known each other for so long, okay? So uh, we talk about the rollovers, right? Because you need to know what happens uh, because contracts expire in futures. They don't expire worthless like they expire um, uh, in options, obviously, but they do expire. And you need to know that you can roll your contract over before the expiration. So we teach you how to do that as well. We teach you about expiration and not only that, but the reaction of price action into expiration uh, because the price action is going to have a certain behavior. We're also gonna talk about trading hours for different instruments. We're also gonna talk, like I said, a little bit about algorithmic trading and that's all into the intro. That alone is an amazing, it, uh, a, a, an amazing course, an amazing class. And I could just stop there and you would have a head start to uh, to other traders. But then we're going into charting and we're talking about candlestick language, the psychology behind each shape, color, and form of candlesticks. This is a truly remarkable insight into how other participants, and you can have this advantage over other participants depending on those specific candles. And I'm not kidding you guys. It is one of the most important lessons of the whole entire course because you need to identify the psychology behind the candlestick and say, hey, momentum is strong. We're also gonna teach you here to identify when you're having an algo push or an algo pull. If algos are going to want to participate in the market or not. And if they're taking the long side or the short side. So this is truly insightful here. Then we talk about patterns and pivots, right? Because when you're getting a bunch of candles, they form patterns, right? Whether higher highs and higher lows or, or lower highs and lower lows, or ranges, right? Approximate equal highs and equal lows, right? So these patterns are predictive of future price actions. We talk about pivots and pivot formations. Pivots are so important because if you learn how, how to identify these pivots, you're gonna learn how to pretty much trace uh, the levels that we're gonna talk about in day five. So everything is gradual. Everything is pointing out on how to identify those institutional levels. Uh, then we have uh, candlestick formations, which is, again, super interesting in the terms of pattern. Uh, for example, there are some candles that are uh, indicative of 90% continuation. Would you want to trade with conviction? Well, these candlesticks right here, and there are a few candlesticks that can show you conviction. You see that candle, you know that you need to be, for example, to the long side, and you know that it will continue. It will have the momentum over 90%. So you know that you have a, a potential to win on that trade. Uh, you have a 90% potential to win on that trade. Wouldn't you like to trade with that? Like seriously, okay? All right, so the next thing that we talk about in the course is charting tools and indicators. And this is uh, basically a brief enumeration of the indicators that we use. We're not getting deep into these indicators. We're just uh, letting you guys absorb easily, you know, the candlesticks and the candlestick language, a little bit of a pattern, how they form. And then, of course, the indicators that we're adding to the chart. So we're explaining the charting system, right? The windows that you guys, when you look at a chart, when you look at a window, you have a bunch of candlesticks and some indicators. So we are getting you from A to Z within the uh, within the uh, the charting window. 
And then we talk, I think, one of the most, uh, again, they're so, uh, these chapters are so important. They're so interlinked. Uh, we talk about the market cycles. The market cycles are so important because you need to know at which stage you are in the cycle on a macro level and on a micro level as well. So uh, this it will show you the optimum time to buy or short, the optimum time when to exit the trade. You see how we trailed the trade today? There are some signs that the price action from the candlesticks, from the momentum, from the volume is gonna show you when you need to trail from the timing, right? So it, it'll show you when to trail and how to initiate, for example, uh, how to read a change in the trend. What is that change in the trend? Because that's how everybody talks about trends, right? How do I identify? Uh, how do I identify trends? We teach traders how to identify the change in the trend immediately, so you know when there's a trend shift. Then we talk about the optimum timing for holding position. For example, if you're uh, trading, if you're taking a trade off in, in the morning, and uh, you know, you have the 1130 timing come up and small momentum is definitely slowing down. You have the London session that is closing. You want to make sure that you want to know, you want to have that confidence, say, hey, yeah, I'm going to hold this trade through the doldrum period into the afternoon. And what steps you need to take in order to do that? how you need to adjust your stops, what time frame to watch for the afternoon, what time frame to watch during the doldrums, okay? Because it's not like one size fits all. You're not gonna live on the two minute or the five minute chart forever. You're gonna have to shift a little bit. And then we talk about the trends, characteristics of the uptrend, how you trade in uptrends, how you trade in downtrends, how you trade in sideways markets, and how, and when to trade each market, whether it's up, down, or sideways. We trade every market environment. And for so many years, this has been a learning experience for my students because I trade live every single day. Okay, then we talk about time frames. Time frames, like I said, I mentioned them a little bit earlier. They're so important. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have execution time frames, right? Uh, we have analytical time frames, and then we have multiple uh, time frame fusion, which teaches you how to read multi time frame alignment that will provide you with a really high odds trade. And remember, a high odds trade is a trade that has a potential win into that. Um, uh, in I, I want to say a win ratio, but it, it suggests that it may work sixty to seventy percent of the time. I like to take trades that are into the category of 75% and up because I call trades in the trading room as well. If I would trade on my own, don't get me wrong, I would get in a little bit more riskier situations uh, because I like risk as well. But when I'm in the room, I'm extremely conservative. And you guys, you guys saw that within these uh, past three days. All right, and then we're getting into technical analysis. Like I said, you won't need another book. You won't need another uh, manual. You know, won't need another course, webinar, or anything. With this course, comprehensive course, you won't need anything. We will teach you how technical analysis can help with your next trade. We teach you support resistance, but we teach you the eight layers of price support resistance, which is going to be phenomenal because nobody else teaches you how to identify a trade based upon the eight layers of price support resistance. Um, so we teach about the basic support resistance. We teach you about the support resistance fusion trending zones. This is a hybrid of Elliott waves. Uh, we teach you trend lines. We teach you pivot points and how to trade around pivot points. So this is not only the technical analysis that shows you, oh, this is support and this is resistance. And you buy on support and sell on resistance. Because if you teach that what 90% uh, or 99% of the traders out there teach, it's completely wrong. You don't buy on support. You buy on a confirmation of support only in uptrends. And the same with the resistance. You only short in downtrends. Other than that, you are either fading the morning or you are uh, short squeezing the bottom. Okay, and then we teach you about fulcrums. There are, uh, this is a really 
phenomenal institutional type of detail that I have included in the course. I, um, I have mastered this um, technical analysis uh, uh, tool, uh, let's say, uh, from my mentor. And it's basically four point systems uh, on the technical chart that show you where institutions are 99% likely to get into the trade and also scale out of the trade. Okay, so this is very important. Not unless you have been mentored by an institutional trader, you have no idea where to find these. Anyway, they're not on the internet. No, they're not. They're not on the internet. Okay, uh, we teach you about the power of the moving averages, the simple moving averages and uh, the exponential moving averages that I use and you don't need to use a lot. You guys saw that I don't use a lot of indicators. Uh, we teach you Fibonacci's, uh, we teach you about volume and how to trade with volume and that not volume profile, just simple volume, uh, the amount of uh, uh, the, the amount of contracts that are in play within a specific day. Then we teach you market tempo. Uh, so the market tempo is a proprietary day trading reactionary time. You saw me in the morning focus on specific times at the open at 9.45, at 10 o'clock, 10.30, 11.15. And these are pretty much the timings for the morning. Other than that, I'm out to the beach. But uh, basically, uh, these timings are very important because they carry reactionary, uh, reactionary actions from price. So for example, if the price goes up from 9.45 to uh, 10 o'clock, we know that at 10 o'clock we need to trail a little bit tighter because it's an inflection point. It may take the price, uh, it may take the price into a pullback or it may base or you may have some kind of news and you, it teaches you how to handle uh, the new situation uh, as well. Uh, then we have the trigger times. These are proprietary for trade out loud. And uh, these are proprietary trigger times for the New York trading session. And uh, we have certain timings. We have 9.32, 9.35, 9.45, et cetera. So we teach you what to look at and how to identify pattern as soon as the first minute or the second minute from the market open with clarity, with decision, with a lot of conviction, with identifying entry stops and targets in nanoseconds. So that this is going to make you the best trader ever. Then we have, um, then we have um, the uh, we have so we have the re reactionary market phases uh, as well. These are phases in the market. There are three phases, and within these phases, there are other uh, stages in the market. So we teach you. Uh, where, where we teach you where the stress-free money is and where the stressful money is. Okay, so uh, so you know to stay away from the stressful side of trading. This is uh, like an insight into a micro, micro, micro. It's, it, it's inside. You get inside my brain. Literally, this is literally here. You're just buying all my all my information, all my knowledge of trading. Uh, then we talk about the anatomy of the trade. OK, the anatomy of the trade, how to calculate precise entries. So you see that when I'm getting into a trade, I'm not just saying, hey, I'm buying it here, guys. I'm just going to take some contracts over here. Mm -mm. I give you the exact price. So, for example, you know, let's say, I don't know, today in YM, right? I said 555 is the entry. Clearly. OK, so I said 549 is the stop. I, I didn't blink. I knew exactly from the technical side Where's my entry? Where's my stop? Okay, period. I knew where my targets are. So it teaches you how to calculate entries, how to calculate stops, how to calculate targets, and that by not taking a lot of time. I mean, that is a decision that is going to take you like, uh, um, I don't know, probably 15 seconds to 30 seconds. No, entry, stop, target, boom. Okay, your eye is going to get formed your brain is going to get rewired to see things that are working into the market. Um, also calculating risk. Risk is the difference between the entry and the stop. And you, we discussed it yesterday. It shows you whether, you know, it's worth taking the trade or not. Then we get into strategies. Here we teach 10 proprietary trading strategies. Not going to get into it because they're proprietary. But we teach you 10 strategies for every single market environment, okay? And all you have to do is when you look at the market 
And when you look at a chart formation, remember trading is basically photograph. Trading trading is about photographic memory. It's about remembering and um, literally just you know, literally just you know, kind of. I don't know how to say this, but like identifying the setup that you've learned, the strategy that you learned, and apply, apply it in the market. You see that? I know it. It's a buy setup. I know it. It's a short squeeze. I know it. It's a sandwich. So it immediately draws you to, it pulls out that drawer from your brain and says, I know that strategy. You pull it out and you implement it into the market. That's 10 proprietary strategies. Basically, you're not going to be using all 10 all the time. You're probably going to be using three to four or maybe three most of the time. But it's good to have uh, a toolbox full of strategies that are going to help you with that. Then we teach you trading patterns. Uh, trading patterns are very important because they are, uh, you're able to recognize uh, patterns that CNBC talks about, Bloomberg talks about, all these gurus talk, talk about. So you have some slides with uh, trading patterns such as head and shoulders, inverse head and shoulders, uh, bull flag, whatever it is. Now, let me tell you something about these patterns. They're fine. You're going to have it in the manual. Do I trade them? They're nice to identify. But I get the method that I teach gets you inside those patterns because by the time you recognize an inverse head and shoulder, by the time you recognize the bull flag, the trade may be long gone. Okay. And the trade may snap, may have snapped already. Wouldn't it be nice for you to get where the algos are legging in, where institutions are legging in first, and then write it up? And when it breaks out, you know, you're already committed to the trade. You already made your profit because a lot of times there are these patterns that are failing, right? Have you ever got it in, have you ever got into a trade and the pattern failed? Right, it failed. And that's one of the reasons why. All right, then we teach you uh, trailing methods. We teach three trailing methods. These trailing methods, these three trailing methods, you're going to be applying to the market for that stress-free environment. I basically use one for, uh, for day trading. And if I see a massive power trend, maybe I do a mix of the, um, of the first two trailing methods. But isn't it awesome to have a trailing system in place that allows you to have that peace of mind knowing that I'm getting in a trade. I have a plan. I know how to trail that trade. OK, because a lot of times you see a snap, for example, if a tar uh, if uh, a trader has a target in mind and if that price runs into that target and they go like, oh, my God, I'm taking it off, taking it off. Right. What if there is more upside to it? Wouldn't it be nice to have a trail, for example, the way we trailed Russell, the way we trailed the Dow. Right. So we gave us give yourself a chance to make more money right? And not just quit the trade. Uh, so tra trailing methods. We teach you complete set of money management. Yesterday, we, we, I just taught you the tip of the iceberg of money management. Now we're getting inside real money management. So you can see that there are so many chapters. So not only that, you're going to learn how to trade, okay? You're going to learn money management you're going to learn. And these are all one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, right? So you see why I'm saying that this should be like a 90-day masterclass because you're getting the recordings for the trade journaling. So it's going to teach you how to journal, which is very important because by knowing how to journal and knowing how to correctly journal your trades, you can identify your own mistakes. You don't need a mentor that is going to tell you you're wrong here. You got to do this. You got to improve on this. You're going to autocorrect your mistakes. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. I'm teaching you how to properly journal your trades and how to analyze your trades. Because your trading day as a beginner trader does not end when my trading room ends. Or when you take your last trade. That's when work begins. Okay. And I teach you what you need to do after that in order to identify. So you can't fail 
you can't fail. I know every, you know, most of the people in here uh, in my training room have already taken the course. Failure is not an option. You have all the tools. Then we go into training psychology. This is a really big chapter into training psychology that covers everything from attitude. And this is from the perspective of a trader, from the trader's perspective, because there are a lot of trading psychologists out there that literally don't know how to trade. They got into trading a year ago, two years ago, and they think they can trade and they can teach others. Trading, look, here's the reality about trading. First, you need to learn how to trade. Then you need trading psychology, okay? And I teach you through the risk management, through the money management, through everything in here, and yes, you need the right, you need to, you need to have the right mindset. Nobody's denying that because trading psychology is basically about 80 or 90% of the whole trading thing. But if you're risking, if your risk per trade is 50% or 40% or 10%, and you're going like, I just risk half of my account in a trade, but I need some guidance with trading psychology. Like, are you kidding me? Like you could have the best psychology ever, but first you need to learn how to trade, learn how to position size, learn money management first. And then psychology is going to come and we cover a massive chapter. This is a one day class alone that is recorded and you guys are going to receive it and you have to view it. It's a one day course. It's a one day class. It's on demand. And you need to go through it. It talks about attitude, your attitude towards trading, your attitude towards life, your attitude towards everything. Uh, fear, what is fear? How you can eliminate fear or decrease your fear because you can't eliminate fear. You can't. You can't take the fear out because you're dealing with the most precious commodity in the world, which is money. You can't take fear out. So use fear to your advantage. When you feel like you're freaking out, means that you have too much size. You took the trade with too much size. Okay, so I talk all about these details in there in depth. And then we have a trading action plan, all right? So if I have a system that works for me, I share it with my students. This is a trading action plan that literally shows you and walks you through the trading day from before the market opens from about 8.30 till 4.30. Four o'clock, the market closes. And what you need to do 30 minutes after you have uh, closed all your trades. So this is an action plan. This is a trading plan. It's about four slides, I think three to four slides, right? Long with all the details, what you need to do, what you need to watch for, when that reversal time is, when the trigger time is, what time frame you need to watch all those things, what patterns work the best. And then the last day of the live course, this is what we do together, putting everything together. There is not one person that is putting everything together to put that, to put the money where their mouth is. There are a lot of traders out there. And I have to say some of them are good. I know some of the traders that are really good. Very few, very few. And you know them by their transparency. Some of them, I know them personally. Some of them started day trading when I started day trading. Okay, so uh, we're, we're good friends by now. But not, not a lot of educators out there are putting everything together. They think they're putting everything together, but they're not. So this is where we put everything together. And this is where we teach you how to trace institutional levels. You see the levels that we had on our chart that were our guide for the trading day today? We teach you how to do those, but you need to get to this point. You need the five-day course to get into this point because you're going to need every single detail from day one to day five to start tracing these levels. And they're super easy to trace. They're not hard. They were really hard. And actually last year, oh my gosh, they were really hard to, uh, hard to scoop out. And if you got beginning of this year, they were really hard. But they provide you with the training wheels. Sometimes I may have them on the chart. Sometimes I may not have them on the charts. If the 
price action is choppy or super trendy. I'm not going to have them on the charts. But you as a beginner trader need to have them on your technical charts because they're going to they're going to bring confidence to you and it provides a stress free environment. You know where the levels are. You know where the market is going to react. And of course, we're going to provide you with platform layout and all those other details. OK, so this is pretty much in a nutshell what we uh, what we offer uh, here. Like I said, um, and we do have an additional uh, additional five days after this course. So this is for traders that are super, super, super new that not have not traded a day in their life or they need to take their trading uh, to the uh, to the to the next level. This is a five days hands on experience. It's going this course is after a week after the five day because we don't want to clutter your brain. It's a week after. And the way we have structured it right now is one session per week. OK, it's going to be one session per week. So this is going to be another five. It's not it's a five day because there are five days, but it's basically one per week. OK, and what you're going to uh, what you're going to experience here, and this is the cost of the total course, right? This is eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. It's uh, the cost for the whole entire course. What you are taught in this course in day one, computer requirements, setting up your platform. Like I said, if you're very new, installing the Thinkorswim platform or any platform that you are working on platform features, order types, and how to use them, um, placing orders, uh, setting alerts, trading terminology. So we're going to do a little bit of a lab here. Uh, then on day two, we're going to teach you how to gather the intel for the day, where to look for it, how to analyze it, how to compute it into your charting system so you know the reaction in advance for a possible breakout, breakdown, or a stall at certain institutional levels. Tracing institutional levels, and this is something that we're going to do in day two, three, four, um, uh, two, three, and four, and five, I think. Yeah, we're going to do that as well. So two, three, four, and five, uh, tracing institutional levels. So you get into the habit of uh, knowing how to do them, analyzing the market context, selecting your next trade, Pre-planning your trade because you guys see that I have been pre-plan your trade in advance, right? So there's nothing rushed. There's nothing. Everything's pre-planned, right? Uh, I only use limit orders. I don't jump in trades. I don't even use market orders. Maybe maybe one once a year, but not really. Uh, practicing and executing live orders. You're going to be in a simulated account with me, practicing in and out, raising your stop, position sizing, all that stuff. And on day two, we teach you damage control. This is so sweet. And again, this is for advanced traders. So this is for very new traders, beginner traders that don't know how to operate a platform. But uh, we have a lot of stuff for uh, traders that want to take their training to the next level. This is damage control. We teach you how to take control. Let's say, for example, your platform has a glitch and has not held a stop. Uh, we teach you not to freak out and we teach you step by step what you need to do in order to uh, repair the trade. Okay, to repair the trade. That's right. Uh, in a calm way, in a composed way, and in a fun way, and in a profitable way. We teach you damage control. So if you have a situation in the market where, for example, you feel you feel anxious, means that you have too much size. So we adjust that. We know how to take you from anxious to calm by sizing. Uh, we know that if there's, uh, for example, a glitch in your platform and your stop is not holding, you're not going to freak out because I'm going to teach you what you need to do not to freak out, just stay in the trade calmly, reassess it. I'm going to teach you step-by-step step what you need to do. Okay, this is a lecture right here. Uh, it's a class. And in day three, again, gathering intel and um, um, trading, executing, practicing trading. And again, scaling in trades, scaling in and scaling out of trades. This is, again, another lecture within this day, within this course, where we teach you how institutions are scaling in 
as the trade is going for them, because this is how you scale into trade. Other than that, it's damage control. So for example, if you get into a trade with half the size, just, okay, and then you double your stop, right? You double your stop, that's, that's what you do. So you have that, you have that, um, uh, you have that one R used in a volatile environment. So you don't, uh, you, so you don't, you know, flicker out of the trade, you know, fle fleece out of the trade. Um, so basically we teach you how to roll in the trade as the time frame, uh, as the time frames roll. So for example, you get into a trade on the two minute, but you see a favorable, uh, favorable setup on the five, you just add, you see a favorable setup on the 15, just add. You see a favorable setup on the 1H, add. See a favorable setup on the four hour, add. And then all this with reducing the stop. So this is how you scale into uh, scale into trades. And this is the roll in, as institutions call it, uh, roll in trades. Uh, so uh, day four, profit stacking. This is pyramid trading. And trust me, there's nothing fishy about this. This is about basically adding, reducing, adding, reducing, adding, reducing, playing with the power of the power trends, meaning make your chart um, work for you, okay? Make your money work for you. So you're flexing your money. So uh, profit stacking is very profitable when you have power trends. It's, it's incredible. And then uh, on the last day, we teach you intelligent stop. So where to put the stops, flex stops, and you know the types of stops that you can use. There are so many stops that you can use. Uh, there are mental stops, flex stops, intelligent stops. So we teach you all of these uh, intelligent stops and how to use them so you don't stop out of trades and you are permanently adapting them. And we also have a class on volatility and how to treat volatility. And we teach also the 10 o'clock golden rule, which is an incredible rule to know, to have conviction when bullish or bearish. All right, does that make sense? All right, so I think I've answered a lot of questions with the course. And now we did have another question that I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in because we do have all that information already on the website for you guys. Uh, and that is with the funded accounts. And there was a question here, what are CFDs? CFDs are contracts for difference. What that means is that if you paid attention to day one, um, or I highly recommend those of you guys that have questions about CFDs, go to day one, because I prepared a little presentation there for you guys uh, uh, where I talk about the difference between the uh, contract and the CFD. Basically on the technical chart, the CFD and I'll show you a live example in a few moments here uh, when I switch the screen. The CFD is a contract for difference. There's nothing different than trading Apple or Apple CFD. You're going to make the same money into it. Okay. Bottom line. All right. So uh, we're going to scroll down a little bit here. So if you want more information about the funded accounts, this is right here. Okay. This is right here. You click, so you go to services, you go to funded accounts, listen in to this presentation right here. So this was a, a webinar that I hosted uh, for everybody. Uh, last year when we launched the program, just listen to this. If you decide to open an account, um, a prop account with us, uh, definitely go here and look at the platform orientation. And this is going to teach you how you found, find your way around the platform. Uh, currently, this is the platform that we're using. And tomorrow, actually, I'm going to have a conversation with uh, my broker because we're changing the interface uh, for everybody in here. So you guys, uh, when you are going to log in, you're going to see a lot of improvements. You're going to have the economic calendar. You're going to have a lot of bells and whistles that is going to be with this program. And, uh, you're going to find the orientation right here. So for those of you guys that are interested in prop accounts, this is the information here. All right. So I'm going to take you back to these charts and then I am going to, let's see here. I'm going to show you an example. Oops. Okay, let's see. I can't. Okay. Let me see if I still have it. Okay, I still have it here. Okay. 
All right, so let me just share back the screen and then we're going to go and answer some more questions. Okay, so those of you guys that were asking about, you know, the difference between CFDs and uh, uh, the futures contracts, for example. Okay, so this is the mini SMP. This is the uh, futures contract, the original futures futures contract. So this is the futures futures contract, not CFD. Is the futures contract basically the same chart, right? You see swing high to low grind to the upside, chop, chop here, and then gradual lift to the upside. You see where the price is at. Now, at the same moment in time, the price, you could see it's a little bit different. 45.22 here, this is the CFD. So basically, if you want to trade with a prop account in the trading room, you have to trade the pattern and not the price that I called the trade at because they're going to defer, okay? They're going to be different. So for example, we have the price here at 45.22 and the price here, oops, sorry, the price here is 45.38. So there's going to be a difference, okay? Because this is a chart of its own. It's just like this is Apple and this is Amazon, okay? But it's the same thing. So this is the E-mini futures and this is the E-mini CFD futures. You just trade the pattern, no big deal. Just trade a pattern. If you take the course, we have so many, uh, so many students that have opted for this just because they want to learn how to trade the patterns. Okay. All right. Here's an example side by side. You can see the patterns are identical. Swing high to swing low, swing high to swing low. Right. And you can adjust these charts. I just made them different here just to be a little bit more striking, to be different. So you can notice the difference between the two. The, uh, the price difference, but you can see swing high to swing low. Here it's represented on, this is the CFD. This is the futures contract. Rising up, rising up. You make the same money. You make the same money. So it doesn't matter, you know, whether the price is here at 22 or here at 38, okay? All right, here is, for example, for stocks. This is like, I mean, this is mind blowing. I wish I had this when I was trading, like seriously. Seriously, guys, I mean, this is like a gift from the trading gods, and I'm, I'm serious about it. This is Amazon, okay? This is the CFD Amazon. This is the uh, Amazon stock. And oftentimes, the price is identical in stocks, oftentimes. You can swing trade, swing trade. You can day trade, stocks, futures, forex, cryptos, all from the same platform. Okay, here's the euro dollar. Look at the patterns, they're the same. All right, if you wanna trade Bitcoin, you can trade Bitcoin. At this moment in time, you wanna trade Bitcoin, you have Bitcoin. I do recommend though, I do have some two recommendations because uh, the broker had it optional here, but I really wanted to have it incorporated, but it wasn't possible. So if you wanna opt for this, Please choose trade over the weekend if you want to swing trade. We have a lot of members that are swing trading. A lot of members in our swing trading room that are swing trading with this. Uh, most of the traders that we have in the program have multiple accounts. One for day trading stocks. One for day trading futures. One <clears throat> for swing trading stocks. One for swing trading oil or gold. So they have multiple accounts multiple accounts we allowed that you could have multiple accounts you could have three accounts most of them have three three accounts we have traders that have three four accounts they have accounts for their kids accounts for their family members so i do recommend to trade over the weekend if you intend on uh trading uh trading uh stocks uh and uh i suggest to go opt for the stop loss not required you should be using stops but uh, if you're not selecting this tab right here, you have like literally seconds to place in your order. So when you have your order build up to uh, your limit order, you immediately have to put your entry, your stop, your whatever it is. You can even input your target all on the same um, window where you put in your order. I find that, first of all, I want to enter the trade and then I want to put my stop, just like I do in Think or Swim. 
Okay, so I want to put them. And this allows you to do that. Other than that, you're going to get a breach notification that you haven't put your stuff in there, you know, uh, penalizing you that, for this. All right. So this is pretty much in a nutshell what the program is all about. And like I said, if you're, um, you know, interested uh, just joining the trading room. Oh, and by the way, if you want to join, uh, if you want to join the prop trading program, you don't have to be a member of the room. Literally, you don't have to be a member of the room. Okay. Uh, and by the way, if you want to join the um, okay, let me take you right here. If you want to join just the trading room, it's pretty much in the same context that we're trading in right now. Uh, I come on the mic very close to uh, 920 and we do the pre-market game plan. We're pre-planning together. So you understand the context of the market and then we just trade. Uh, we can be done in 10 minutes or we can be done in an hour, or we can be done at 11.30 or 12 o'clock as long as the trade lasts. Or I give you instructions on how to trade and how to trail that specific trade. If you're in, I give you detailed explanations in the room on how you need to manage it. So for example, if we were in a trade right now and I would have to go, or I have another commitment for another speech, uh, then I would tell you, okay, if the price gets into this point, you need to tr put this trail stop in. And if the price is trading right now here, lift your stop to this level. So ample, I mean, you cannot get it any easier than this. I mean, there's literally, I wish I had this trading room when I started trading and I created this trading room just because I wanted, uh, when I first started trading, I, I wanted to have a room like this, that literally I would get in and, you know, start understanding the market and making money. Uh, so what's included in the room, in the trading room, you have the pre-market game plan. You got institutional uh, trading levels that I speak about in the pre-market game plan. You get real precise timing, uh, pre precise trading, 100% uh, guided, just like you guys saw it right here. Thanks so much for posting the link in the room. Uh, you get one to three trades a day, depending on the environment. We may take five or we may not take a trade. I don't trade option expiration days, but I'm here to guide you through trades in case you want to take it. Uh, you want to take trades. Uh, I provide you the exact parameters for the trades, uh, the entries, the stops, targets. I trail it live because I'm the trade with you guys, so I trail it live for myself and I share it with everybody. Real time response to all your questions, uh, live screen share as you guys saw access to risk position sizing uh, calculator that you guys saw. We also have a performance tracker, guidelines, and so much more that uh, I have shared with you guys in day one. So I'm going to ask you, like, seriously, what would you pay for peace of mind and for a 100% hand-holding system? A person that is going to say, uh, no, you don't need to develop your own trading plan. A person that says, no, I'm going to help you with every stage of the trade. That's $299 a month. And that's $2,999 uh, $2 per year. Guys, $299 a month divided by 30. That is $10 a day. Do you guys think that you can make $10 a day? Or let's say divided by 20. So it's $299 because there are 20 trading days, right? $299 divided by 20. I did something wrong. 299 divided by 20. Here it is. That's $15 a day. Do, do you guys think that this room is worth $15 a day? Do you guys think that it's worth $15 a day? So for example, today, 100 over 100 points alone, 100 points alone in the Dow, okay? That's $500. 100 points today in the Dow, that's $500. And then we had Russell, Okay, we have Russell. Um, wow, yeah, for another 10 points, that's $500. That's $1,000 in a day. So I think $299 is really cheap for the amount of value information and the fact that I'm sharing my trades with you guys. Don't you think so? Okay, all right. So if you... 
Yeah, like I said, you know, this is this is what we're offering basically in a nutshell. You get live stream of the charts, institutional levels. You get the chat. You get to react with other traders and see what they're posting. A lot of times, my traders, and we have phenomenal traders, phenomenal tr traders in the room. We have Doji Man in the room that, my gosh, he's a wealth of information. We have Money Gal in the room that it, she's phenomenal. She loves to trade gold and oil. We have Joe, which specializes in RTY. He loves, breathes RTY. <laughs> Seriously, Joe. Like if I want to get in a trade in RTY, it's like, hey, Joe, do you think it's okay to get an RTY? Like seriously, he's like, he has it nailed, pinned, okay? We have we have so many traders. I'm not going to mention everybody in here, but um, I'm telling you guys, they're phenomenal. You can learn from them. Like seriously, you can learn from them. Okay, and then um, obviously you're going to uh, you're going to hear me on the mic, okay? Uh, all the time. So this is pretty much in a nutshell what the trading room is all about. Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, oh, Randy, thank you so much. I've learned a lot. I have been trading for many years. Yes, and all you need is a little bit of push in the right direction, oftentimes. Because sometimes you know all the information, but you don't know how to put together. Okay. Uh, Ashik, how do we access the same capital size uh, when you swing trade in the evening or weekends in the first option? Uh, you mean the five, if you want to access the $500,000 account, you just pay an addition fee of $500 if that is the question that you're ask, the asking. Okay, so yeah. All right. Um, if you want to sign up for the course, the uh, link is on the website. It is tradeoutloud.com. And you just go under education and you sign up there. And if you want to sign up for the trading room, it's under services. Yes, the course. Thanks so much, Doji Man, for uh, coming in and answering a lot of the questions. Yes, the courses are yours. And by, I don't even think I've mentioned, but you will receive the recordings for everything, for all the live classes and more so they're yours to keep. So you keep those recordings. And every time we host a class, you're going to have those recordings as well. They're going to be sent out to you and you can attend the live class. Or if you don't have the time, we're going to send you the recordings. Thank you so much. Here's the link for the futures day trading uh, day trading education uh, site. Uh, is there a combo price that includes the swing trading? Yes, there is. Um, uh, send an email to info at tradeallow.com. If you sign up for the trading room, the trading room is $299. You get a combo of $150, but there are two separate payments that you need to make. Uh, she, for example, $50,000 account does, uh, okay, give you access to the same 50K when you swing trade. You mean when I swing trade? I swing trade with more than 50K, a lot more than 50K. Other platforms decrease by 50% or more when you hold positions overnight or the week. No, no, you get the same size. No, 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 nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. You just hold the position overnight, overnight. You, you don't, yeah. That's why we're so different in that respect. Yeah, that's why we're so different. So if you offer the 50K for swing trading, uh, make sure you respect the rules. Make sure you understand the rule. Read the rules 200 times because they're from our broker, okay? I didn't set the rules. <laughs> our broker did okay yes the five thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars includes the trading room until the end of the year but wait there's more if you sign up for example now you get free access until the class starts so you don't have to wait until uh you don't have to wait until september so you're going to automatically be sent the login information so you're basically going to have access in august september october november and december so five months four and a half four almost four and a half 
If you, if you, yes, Alan, if you blow the account, you have to go with a $500 addition again. Nobody needs to know. I don't even have access to that information. So I don't know if you're going to blow your account or not. So you're safe. <laughs> but try not to blow it. Is there an open house special for mentoring, uh, ment mentorship courses? That is the special price. The $599 is the special price. Uh, Donna, what about the course access? What do you mean? Uh, which course? The, the Power Income Futures course? So the class is live and starts in September. Prior to September, you, we don't provide access to the course until September. So you sign up now, you get access to the training room, but you get to attend the course live. We don't give you the recordings of the past course. You got to you got to get into the live experience. So a few days before, a couple of days before, you're going to receive the introductory course and not now. So we're not sending it out. Now we're getting in, uh, we're getting you into the trading room. And trust me, you're going to pick up a lot from the trading room as well. Okay, awesome. Uh, and by the way, this offer with access into the end of the year is valid. Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, it's, um, um, it, yeah, the deadline is Sunday the 13th. So, yeah. And, oh, and by the way, what I did mention, I only work with seven to 10 students every single time. I don't take a lot of registrations. Like I said, uh, we're a boutique firm, and I want to make sure that everybody has that undivided attention because this time around we're offering a one time mentorship the mentorship is coming at least 1 to 2 months after the course okay 1 to 2 months after the course it's a one session it's a 90 day uh, it's a 90 uh, uh 90 minute session it's $5000 and that's that's bonus guys that's bonus okay all right so um let's get back to the market let's do a little wrap up Thank you so much, guys. And let's see what's going on, right? Let's see what's going on in the market right now. Okay. All right. So what we see in the market right now is that very typical of CPI numbers. And we've uh, gotten used to this. Every time we have the CPI numbers out, the price goes up and then it goes back down. And sometimes like a few months ago, it literally erased all the gains. And it, the Dow ended down about 500 points down. <laughs> uh, PPI tomorrow, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Java Ted Capital. Uh, support, yeah. It's resetting. You got it. You got it. You got it. It's PPI for tomorrow. It's resetting. Oh, Jill, thanks so much. Jill took the course. In March, you'll love this. Thanks so much, guys. No dead cats. No dead cats. <laughs> okay. Like I said, yeah, pets are really, uh, pets are really good when you're trading, right? Okay. So basically, right now, the market is resetting, guys. There's nothing lining up for now. Uh, please don't trade in the afternoon because this is going to be pure chop into tomorrow morning. We'll trade to together tomorrow morning in the trading room. If you decide to sign up for the trading room for the course, you're going to have access tomorrow. So I want to thank everybody. Oh my goodness. There are some, can you believe it? There are like over 800 people in the room right now. Um, awesome. Awesome. All right. All right. Any other questions, guys? Okay. Awesome. Okay, cool. All right. Happy to answer more questions for you guys tomorrow. Sign up and then we're, we're going to get together 
Uh, and uh, I really hope to see you guys uh, in the training room. If you're ready to make a big change, I promise you guys, I'm going to be there for every single step of the way. So I'm just trying to get things here. All right. Okay. Thanks so much, everybody. Okay. Have a great weekend. In case you're not trading tomorrow, have a great weekend. Have a great rest of the summer. I'll see you guys in the trading room tomorrow and I'll see you in the course. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great rest of the day. Bye, everybody.